Hi, this is Lynn Pavlis Jenkins of LPJ Consulting. And today's topic is how do I put my gifts out into the world? It reminds me of the TQM days, total quality management. And when we examined this cycle called the Deming cycle, which was plan, do, check, act. And it was a continuous loop of these four parts. It's also often used when looking at change and how you wanna bring about change in an organization. But it also can work well when you're looking at something like putting your passions or gifts into the world. The first part is plan. So you know what your gift or passion is and you wanna put it out in the world. Do some homework. If you look at individuals that have similar gifts and how they're putting them out in the world, what do they do first? What has made them successful? Network with people that have similar gifts and see what they found to be the best way. It's great to do homework, but make sure you don't get analysis paralysis. Move on to the next step, which is do. And do means do it. Take the first step and attempt to put it out there in the world. Maybe that's through a speech. Maybe that's through working with individuals. Maybe that's volunteering. Or maybe it's making a career change and making your passion or gift a full-time career. Whatever you choose to do, make sure that you work at it daily and that you take small steps. You're not gonna get it right the first time, so don't procrastinate trying to get it perfect. It's great to take that first step because a first step is better than no step at all. Next is check. And check is looking back after you've taken these steps and seeing what did you learn from the experience? Do you wanna do something differently or in a different way? Do you maybe wanna choose a different social media platform? If you're blogging, do you wanna use Twitter or Facebook, or do you want to launch an article on LinkedIn? And again, remember to ask for feedback from others. This can be from your circle of friends. It can be from complete strangers. It's important to get the feedback and then see if it rings true. But don't let critical people that want to stop you from pursuing putting your gifts into the world from doing it. Listen to the feedback and then move forward. Sometimes you might have to let go of people or things. And by that, I mean individuals who keep telling you, you're crazy, you're going to fail. Don't you want the security of a corporate job? It takes fearlessness to go out and to try new things. And if you are surrounded by people that are naysayers, it's going to make it all the more difficult. So try to let go of those people or things that are bringing you down and find people that are supportive. Trust in yourself. And then act. Act is to redo it again. Take bigger steps. Take larger steps. Maybe increase your audience size. Maybe move out of your locale and move further in the region or even further out of your country to explore what it's like to put your gifts out there. Again, you may want to try a different medium. If you have been videoing, you might want to try writing or vice versa. The great thing when you're putting your gifts out into the world is that this plan, do, check, act cycle runs continuous. And oftentimes it can be very helpful to hire a coach. A coach can help you through this process to help you discover what works and what doesn't, to help you brainstorm creative ways and options to go through things, and to hold you accountable as you're on this journey. If you would like to learn more about how to put your gifts and passions into the world, or are looking for a coach, please reach out to me at lynn at lpjconsulting.com.